We have the next project, a, about a 1947 Mac L line Tootsie Toy Wrecker tow truck in good condition. Some bit of detail there, toolbox, tools on it. It is missing a little hanger here, which I think I can <clears throat> easily make. But otherwise, I mean, the, 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 the wheels are in great condition. It all looks really good. And I think this one, I think we probably just need to keep it white, but uh, give it a slightly better paint job than what they did originally. Clean those up. And I think it'll look absolutely super. Well, here we are after trying to remove most of the paint with paint remover. There's still some that needs a little help getting off, so I'll use my dental tool on that and some steel wool, and then we'll go into the 400, 600,000 sandpaper the wheels look really really good this thing's got to come off and what they've done is they stuck a post through there and then split it out so that it would stay in there and that's worked very well and what i want to do i think is to take these pliers here and squeeze those things back in, get it out, and see if I can't then push them back out to, um, to, to replace it. My wife says it's not going to work. Well, my wife was right, so I had to drill those things out, and that turned out okay. A little paint under there that I need to get rid of. Um, but this is just a situation of tapping and then putting a washer and a screw under there. And that should be fine. They make it easier to clean and easier to paint the tow truck. Here is uh, the results after cleaning with spirits and uh, steel wool and sandpaper. And now it's just drying here in the sun and wind. And it's going to get ready for primer. Took these back parts here were sort of bent in. I bent those back out. Found some damage to the back fender here. Just missing if you compare it to the other side. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to fix it. Um, that may just be a bridge too far. And maybe I should just do that later when I got more experience with this. So it looks pretty good. There's some pitting and there's some bad parts, places, but uh, I'm hoping the uh, primer will take care of most of that. Wheels are taped off and uh, we are ready for priming. After four light coats, of pearl white. It's looking pretty good. I think that's enough. And now we can start moving on to things like the boom. I'm going to have to put a hook in there, but um, this should end up being some sort of metallic color. I think I don't want to do that in white. And I'm going to go get a friend of mine now, mine to now tap it for me. Put a nice little screw in there. And I'm printing out some custom decals. And those will go on. They're going to be a little smaller than this, but they'll go on there. Go on either side, Philip 66. And then we will do the front grill. Make this red and then silver. And then this will all be some kind of silver metallic and then here I'll have red and white stripes on the back and then we'll be close to getting done.
Currently busy <clears throat> trying to drill a tap hole. Everyone says I can't do it, and they may be right, but I'm doing my best to use a 1.6 meter uh, bit and uh, plenty of WD-40 to keep it cool. I was able to tap this, to, to do the drilling, the WD-40, that worked okay, and also to tap it, and the screw goes in and it holds, and I can put a washer on it, and it's good enough. It's not completely straight, but it's good enough. It will hold it and no one will ever know the difference, so I'm really pleased with that. Things are coming together. We've got the nose here. It looks a little bit like a clown car at the moment. But this, uh, this will be silver or a metallic. And so will all this. And then I'll do the headlights. These maybe should be metallic. I'm not sure. But that looks pretty good. And then we've got the decals for the doors. And one extra. Let's see where we put that. And finally, the tow truck boom is coming along nicely. Here's a video of something that looks like nothing's happened and a lot has happened. So the front's pretty much, the grill is pretty much painted. A couple little things there. The headlights, I'm going to put white in the middle of those. The front bumper has been painted once, but I found out that it was really turned up, like where somebody had dropped it. And so I needed to gently put it straight. And that's as straight as I'm going to get it. I, I was nervous every step of the way that I was going to crack something. And, uh, and I did crack something. I cracked a little bit of the paint. So I've tried to repair that just there on the edges, just, just here. And just there. there. I tried to just, just cover over that. No metal was broken, but the paint cracked a bit. And then I'm going to redo the bumper here in um, Hammerite. Uh, high-gloss uh, aluminum, and then the front should be pretty much done. The little, the little light, uh, emergency light on top is done. And then I took, this took a little bit, but I brought the relief of the word tools out there on the toolbox, and I did that with a, with a small piece of thousand grit uh, sandpaper, but that didn't work very well. It kind of went everywhere and got things dirty and it didn't work very well. So what I did was I took a toothpick and I super glued a piece of that thousand grit sandpaper on there and then went over it just just the outline of the of the uh, letters and it popped out pretty nicely without any or much noticeable damage around it. Uh, the wrecker boom is ready, so that's ready to go, and it just needs to have a couple of coats of lacquer on it, and then we will put this thing back together, along with the Phillips 66 stickers on the side, and it should look pretty good. Well, this is the final version, put a little bit of black wash on the tires. I don't know if I think that made a whole lot of difference. And I put the Phillips 66 on both sides. The front, I've just basically done silver and I didn't put any white on the headlights or anything like that. And I uh, just kind of kept it simple. Two coats of uh, varnish and I uh, had to refashion a little 
hook here um, and uh, I think it looks it looks quite good and um, and it's been fun to actually to to do this so that will go into the collection Mac L line 1957 probably a Ford Tootsie Toy tow truck made in the mid 60s.